How's it going today, folks? Today, we're going to break our luck. Whoops. We're going to break our bad luck streak, hopefully, of um, not getting some, you know, good cards. So, um, today, I really just want to talk about how luck has a lot to do with things and how skill and self-control takes a lot out of a person. Um, when I talk about that, I mean luck is getting, you know, kind of finding the right deal or pulling the right cards or doing the right thing at the right time. Um, and that, and th this can be really applied to like all phases of life. Um, like you can, oh, I just realized, oh, there we go. I do have some sleeves over here. Um, you can apply this to meeting the right person. You can apply this to, um, doing well in school. You can apply, I mean, you can apply this in all stages of life. Um, and the biggest reason I want to talk about this is because I've been not doing the best um with buying cards <laughs> if you guys have seen my videos have been going up more frequently because i've been buying a lot of cards and honestly i'm not proud of it i love cardboard um i enjoy it i have a lot of things that i really enjoy about playing but um kind of what i was getting back to in the first little bit is you gotta put first things first um we've talked about that a lot on the channel um not a ton but we talked about it a good amount, and I really want to tell people that if you don't have all of the things that you need in line, don't be spending money on this kind of stuff. Um, I know that's kind of hyper critical as I'm opening two boxes of cards, but I am doing it partially because I enjoy it, partially for entertainment, and partially because I'm going to sell it. So it's kind of hard to... Um, do this and think about it but I really do think that um, it, it's not it's not safe for your family for your own mental health and for your own health in general to open and you know risk it all for something that's probably not in here um, and that that took me a hard realization um, for to realize that and so in that kind of essence, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, I want to hear what you guys think of um, if I should slow down my content because I need to take care of me. Um, I know many people have done that. I know I, I kind of just came back, but, um, you know, it's hard because I really do enjoy doing this with you guys. Um, I've enjoyed it a lot. Obviously not enjoyed the not pulling great stuff because, you know, we've been getting clobbered with our pulls, but I really do enjoy opening product. Um, it's funny. Sometimes I will, um, I'll like, I'll, I'll go like this and I'll look away and just, just hear that. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I love that rip sound. It's, it's music to my ears every time. Um, even though we're not getting anything, <laughs> the rip sound feels good. Most games, I would say. Um, one thing that I, I was thinking about today, and um, I'll have another video coming up on this, um, hopefully later, is about um, D-Spirits, actually. And D-Spirits had a big announcement today. So um, if you guys didn't, check them out um we used to do a lot of these spirits on the channel um go check out some of my older videos i went i've been going in and out of it i am in it right now um but no i guess i never really left but um whether i believe in it i don't know it's kind of kind of the same thing as meta do i guess um but uh anyway um, as far as the MetaZoo market, I still see it pretty sideways. Um, I don't really see a lot of, like, crazy movement. I am, um, trying to obtain some other stuff, um, in the market that I just, I feel like it, things are just keep going down. Like, people, I don't know if it's people don't believe in it, 
but they're not holding the product. They're they're selling it, they're flipping it, they're whatever you want to call that. Um, and ooh, nice and awful. All right, our first why or not? I was gonna say obnoxious nine, but pretty sure it's wild seven. All right, something good. No wood darn frog, folks. We're getting brutalized. What is this? Like, this box has been, like, we've gotten, like, the worst. I think Awful is, like, one of the worst ones. That's a good card. It's a really good card, actually. Hope this Hornet. Super playable, in my opinion. Um, super, I don't, know, I don't know about underrated in the current meta, but great card. Um, but. It's kind of funny, folks. Um. I was talking with a couple friends and they were like, yeah, Lightning is kind of falling out of the meta because no one's playing it. I'm like, why? I mean, I don't think any cards came out that, like, nerfed it. So it's kind of funny. I'm like, wait, what? That doesn't make sense. Like, Lightning was amazing. Like, it won the big events. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm maybe I'm not paying close enough attention. but And that, that very well could be the case, just so you guys know. Because I haven't really been paying attention to the meta. So, anyways, folks, uh, we're getting close to um, the end of box one. Hopefully, we can um, get something a little bit better. Dang, two token sitters and like two packs. Oof. We are uh, not doing well, folks. Let us get a. I don't even want, I'm not even going to say golden ticket. Let's just, I just want a prism more. Can we just get a prism more, please? Like, is this like an ask and you can receive kind of thing? Like, ooh, this pack is really tough. Maybe there's something special in it. I don't know, like, I don't think that's the case ever. Uh, no. Because I haven't really noticed, like, the, I mean, I, I have noticed, like, the, the packaging. There is a lot of variance in the packaging. Like, the, look at that one, how well it opened. Maybe that's like, okay, so maybe, okay, we're going to guess hollow or non hollow. So, like, this is a non hollow because it just opens like butter. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. No, non hollow, so I guess, I guess right on that one. Wow, I, I swear I remember Prism War as being a lot easier to open. I was going to guess non hollow on that one, but I forgot to say it out loud. Um, yeah, I don't really understand. This one is going to be a hollow because it was a little bit harder, but I don't know. It was a little in the middle. Joe Maniac. All right. Um, brutal, 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 folks. Um, one. That's it. So it's funny because so those five boxes were from one case. And I don't know if that one case, like, like someone got something spicy out of it or something. But, like, that was literally all from a case. Like, this is from a new case. Um, I am afraid because this case also had one box taken out of it. So, yeah. Um, maybe this is dead. I, I really couldn't tell you. I hope it's not, but... We shall see. And, like, I don't really know, like, if MetaZoo is counted as, like, dead cases or not. Like, like when I say a dead case, like... I mean, like, it's impossible to pull a secret rare in here um, because of the way map printing works and all that jazz. I don't I don't know if that... I don't think that's how MetaZoo works. But, again, I could be wrong. Because can you think about how, how crazy it would be to pull, to pull two green man one pack? Or, not one pack, but one box? Like, that would just be not fair. Like, but you never know. Um... I don't know if any of you guys follow Rudy Alpha Investments. Um, we've talked about him a little bit on the channel. He is kind of my inspiration, I would say. Um, and he is having this week, probably going to be live by the time you guys um, watch this video, because or or already out by the time you guys watch this video, because I'm a little behind on my upload schedule. Um, we'll be talking about how um, his product is like very standardized and so like one box is not going to be like a million dollars it but like that's very much what metazoo is um and that's kind of why i like it so i don't i mean like i understand like you want 
product to be worth something, but then, I mean, it's kind of hit and miss. Like, it's kind of like, like, in my opinion, Cryptonation First Edition, great example of uh, overall well-rounded product, because in most instances, you're going to break even or get or get a lot of money. Um, this product is probably my least favorite, because... I, we did talk about how it is inverted IVs just because of Prismora, but then I went and proceeded to not pull any Prismora. So, uh, yeah, I kind of, you know, kicked my own butt on that one. And honestly, I'm very surprised um, that we haven't pulled a Prismora. But I'm, I know I'm kind of all over the place this, this week, folks. Um, but I'm mostly just... Showing some vulnerability, folks. I'm a little, a little overwhelmed. Um, collectibles is a is a great, great hobby for me, but it's also a great addiction. So, yeah. Um, as we open the nostalgics, the meta zoos, another awful. Ugh. Um, I guess I can sleeve these. Like I, I usually say, it bugs me when people don't sleeve the moderately good cards, I guess. Like, it bothers me when people don't sleeve any of the rares, but we're not doing that anymore because I'm running low on sleeves. But, um, this one is going to be a hollow. It's going to be a Prismora right here. Right here. Nope. Not even a real hollow. Folks. 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 Also, if you've noticed, that's why I say folks. Um... It honestly bothers me that I mean, there's no one, there's no one really keep watching this unless I pull something crazy in this video. Um, but there's not a lot of things that you can say that include all walks of life and people. And I don't judge, I don't do that. But if I say something or other, or something, something, and it doesn't include everybody. And folks just does a good job of including everybody. Oops, that's not, that doesn't go there. Um, so that's kind of why I, I devolved to saying folks instead of anything else. I don't know. It does, I don't like it that I say that that's the same thing that Rudy does, but I, I, I do like, I don't know why he, he settled on it, but it does, it does ring for me. That's the reason why I picked it. We're about halfway through this box, and folks, again, <laughs> folks, we're getting clobbered. We're getting destroyed. Um, I don't know what to tell you. After this opening, I don't know how much MetaZoo, or how much more MetaZoo, well, not MetaZoo in general, how much wilderness more I can take. I mean, I got a lot sitting here now, and I mean, we pulled maybe maybe $30 worth in like six boxes now and we're just getting destroyed um, I don't really get it I know that I can't expect to triple wax my money and hopefully you know this gets reserve listed and it goes up do I think it's gonna happen honestly probably not like it's just kind of weird like I know that, like, that Atomic Jellyfish that we just pulled in that pack is a really good card. And it probably will be a very good card for a long time. But because it was double printed as a rare, and rares can be non-hollows, they're just not worth anything. So it's just harder. Um, and, like, like I said, like, I was pulling, like, when we originally were open boxes, I do remember, if you look on my channel, I swear, there's a, there's a video where we pull two Prism Wars in a box. And maybe that was a lot more rare than I thought it was. Because, I mean, those first boxes that we were opening were crazy. And it's not like these are, like, different boxes. Like, it shouldn't be, at least. Like, I mean, like, look at this. Like, look at the rares. Like, I, it's one to four, but like, we got two awfuls. Like, how awful is that? Like, it's just... Honestly, it's pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up, folks. Um... I don't know if it's just my my bad luck, or and then watch you guys are gonna watch the end of this video and we're gonna pull a green man or something crazy somehow. I don't I, I don't know. That'd be cool if that happened after complaining after so many boxes, but I I, I, I highly 
highly doubt that. So. All right, we got about six packs left. Um, final thoughts on Wilderness for now. I think I'm going to try to stop opening this. Um, I really like it. I really want to pull a green man. Um, but I just don't see it. And that makes me sad. And it shouldn't, honestly. I know we get sad about not pulling our cards, but like, I pulled a red ink. Pulled a blue ink. I, I think I'm asking for too much. Um, I haven't opened hundreds of boxes like the people that have or whatever. Um, so I can't expect to pull something like that. Um, I guess I was just hoping Lady Luck would just smile on me. Um, but, you know, kind of going back to what we were talking about at the beginning of the video, that's not how life works. Life, as Rudy will say, slaps you across the face with Chuck Norris. Um, and, yeah, it's rough sometimes, and sometimes the life. Oh, I, I honestly thought that was Green Man, and I, I freaked out for a second, folks. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, that was kind of scary, because I saw the full green, and again, kind of the, kind of the same thing. I saw the full green, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a Green Man that doesn't exist. I want to get, like, if I got the Green Man that was 69, I don't know. My life might be over. Just because that would be really cool. And I could have accomplished everything I wanted in life. Alright folks. Um, last pack. Overall. I don't think we're getting anything. And we're not. Um, no Prism War in six boxes. Folks. That is absolutely brutal. Um, yeah. I, I, I have no words. So. Um, thanks for watching, folks. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, the support. Um, and I know I don't get a ton of videos or a ton of watchers, but the couple people that do, just know that I appreciate you. Um, anyways, folks, with that, I will see you, see you next time and see you in the future.